guys welcome back to my channel this is Lisa with budget and style designs and I wanted to thank all of my returning subscribers for coming back for another budgeting video if you're new to my channel welcome and if you have not yet please make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the little notification bell so you get notified of my upcoming videos I am getting back on track of getting into a routine with weekly videos and I have big plans on getting our debt paid off this year so I'd love to have you guys join us on our journey. Today I am doing the budget for January week 5 so it's the week of January 31st and let's go ahead and dive on into this week's video. So we're going to start out just doing our income so Jay's salary is $8.97, L's salary is $3.45. And then we have additional income of $310 this week for a total of, let me break out my calculator. $15.52. Okay, so I don't have a perfect way of planning this. What I had done, and just to be prepared for videos, I could show this to you guys really quick, but I have this planner here where I've kind of broken out what I wanna pay each week just so I have a plan for my videos in advance. And like I start when I'm gonna pay it, but I think I it's gonna take me a little bit to figure up so we get caught up on this. So just bear with me. I do need to check really quick. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna do our fixed expenses first. So we're gonna be doing the mortgage for 438. And then we're gonna skip the PNC line of credit because I'm just, I paid that last week. We're gonna do 60 for Edward Jones and that is going to be deducted tomorrow. Dominion is 56. And then the Mazda, we're gonna pull back 55 dollars. Okay, and so that is it for the fixed expenses this week. I wanna make sure I stay in frame. Club and medical bills. Okay, so the total for this section is $609. Okay, and then Kohl's, we're gonna take $50. We are going to skip those. Personal loan, I'm gonna figure out because I wanna put as much towards that as possible. I've shared that with you guys before. So let me come down here to um, the spending account. So this will get $20, $125. Eating out is 20. Dog food is 20. Household is 20. And fun is 20. So that is $225. And then I'm gonna come over to our sinking fund. So dentist, we're gonna do seven. Clothes, we're skipping. The vet pet, we are going to do 20. Birthdays, I'm just gonna do 20. I'm not gonna make up for that missed week. Christmas, I'm just gonna do 20. But for the home insurance, I'm gonna do 50. I don't know what our minimum payment's gonna be, but we did get behind a little bit. Car insurance, I'm gonna do 35. Medical, I'm gonna do 40. We don't have anything in that envelope right now, I don't think. Okay, life insurance, we need to do 14 times $42. Car maintenance needs to be 15. Home updates can just do 10 and vacation can do 20. Okay, so the total here is $279. I am going to take our income, making sure everything is in frame, so our income is $1,552. I'm gonna subtract out the 609. 
subtract out the 225 and subtract out the 279 which leaves 400 oops minus 50 for Kohl's so we're gonna do three hundred and eighty nine dollars on the personal loan okay so I'm just gonna double check my math okay if I add up my four categories I should equal 1552 All right, perfect. And so what I always do here is I always like to break down the denominations of what we're going to be getting from the bank. And so we are going to be getting $1,552 and we'll do 100, 50, 20, 10, fives, and ones. Okay, so we're going to do 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 8. Edward Jones will get 60, so we're going to do 50, 60. Dominion will get 50, 5, 6. The Mazda will get 50, 5. And then Kohl's is going to get 50. The personal loan is going to get 1, 2, 3, 50. Oops, that should have been like this. Sixty, seventy, eighty, eighty-five, eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. I do think, I just want to know that that's five fifties. There we go, make it a big one. Okay, so 20, and then groceries we do 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 5. And then we're gonna do 20, 40, 60, 80. So there's $80 here. The dentist, we're going to do five, six, seven. Vet pet, we'll get 20. Birthdays, we'll get 20. Um, Christmas is going to get 20. 50 for home. Um, home insurance. Car insurance, we're going to do 20, 35. Medical, we'll get 40. So that's 20, 40. Life insurance is going to get 40, two. Car maintenance is going to get 15, home maintenance will get 10, and then vacation is going to get 20. Okay, so if I add these up, we've got five, seven hundred dollars in one hundreds. We've got 50, one, two, three, four, five, 50 times six is 300. And then we've got one, two, three, four, 440 in 20s. Just gonna do it here. Then we've got 50, 60 in tens, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh my goodness, I feel like my brain is in slow motion. Okay, and 12. So if I did this all right, I feel like that's always a big if. And I did it perfectly. So you guys can see our total income is 1552 and the total cash breakdown is 1552. All right, I'll be back shortly for the cash envelope stuffing. It's been a few days since I did the budgeting. Okay, so here's what happened. We had an extra dollar, so I'm putting 390 towards the personal loan and the home insurance. We kept this in the checking to pay for our home insurance. I'm going to do the cash envelope stuffing now. Okay, so we're going to get started with our mortgage, and my binder just opened. The envelopes are starting to get a little thick. Okay, we're going to get started with the mortgage, and we're going to pay four thirty-eight. dollars So we've got one, two, three, four, twenty, thirty, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. So that is 438 towards our mortgage. PNC line of credit, we're not going to be paying this week. Edward Jones is going to get 60. And then Dominion is going to get 56. Oh, 
Okay, so there's 56 in Dominion. Just put that in. And then the Mazda is going to get 55. Okay, so there's 55 for the Mazda. And then I am skipping the rest of these. So we've got Honda, Ortho, Sirius, Netflix, L Barclay, Lending Club, and Medical. Okay, I'm not going to do anything for utilities or yard maintenance today. Kohl's is going to get 50. You guys can see there's not anything in there right now. It's a double-sided envelope, so it does, it's cute inside, but there's no, no money in there. Target, and then the personal loan's going to get 390. So 350, 70, 90. So there's the 390, 390 that I'm going to put inside the personal loan. And this one I do want to count out and just see where we're at. The total that we ended up saving in the personal loan for the month of January is one, two, three, four hundred. You know what? I'm going to break out my calculator here. Okay, so I've got 400 plus 100, 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60. So 160, 20, 30, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, plus 51. Ended up saving $711 out of the $2,000 in the month of January. That is amazing. Okay, so we've got that there. And then we're going to go to Jay Spending. He is going to get $20. And then the rest of the cash envelopes are in my wallet for the cash envelope section. Okay. Groceries gets 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 5. Got my envelope holding this down. It's wanting to fly up for some reason. Eating out gets 20, and there is no leftover in these envelopes. I've been putting everything extra to go towards that personal loan. Dog food will have a 20, and I'm going to put another 20 in, and we are going to go get dog food today, actually. Household will get 20, and then fun will get 20. And then this is just my receipts, and that is it for the cash envelopes that I carry with me. And so now we're going to go to dentist. It's going to get five, six, seven. Clothes we are skipping for right now. The vet pet will get 20. Birthdays, we'll get 20. Christmas is going to get 20. Home insurance, we paid it this week, so it's empty. Car insurance, we paid this week, so it's empty too, but we're going to be putting $35 back in. Medical is going to get 40. Life insurance is going to get 42. Car maintenance gets 15. And what I'm doing this is I'm making up for getting behind that one week. So the envelopes get a little bit more this week than normal. Home update will get 10.
and then vacation. I was gonna do 20, we had a little extra money, so we're actually going to do 35 in the vacation, and we just decided to book a vacation for the summer, so I'm super excited about that. And that concludes this week's budget. So I just wanna update here that we are doing, we did 35 for vacation. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in for this cash envelope stuffing. Have a great week, see you guys, bye.